Uh, we're back at Sage Shock's the um, little palace thing up here. Wasn't over at the Dark Temple. You may not enter. His sageness is out. No way. He left for Gold Isle. It's not far if you fly. Gold Isle is to the northeast of here, in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, thanks. We all know who we're, is we're talking to, but we'll pretend. Only because we have to go to these locations anyway, because there are a amount of temples there. Now, this is an easy one to get to. We don't have to run all the way back down this. Of course, you never have to. There's no cannon travel centers or anything like that to get to. What did he say? North? Gold City. It's in, um, it's an empire town. I mean, made of gold. Gold City on the Empire's Gold Isle. Yay. This whole island is made of gold. Yeah, then what's the point? Well, no one was using this place, so... Huh. <laughs> I've been waiting. Now, what did we get? Javelin? I'm not sure what kind of armor that they have here. They may not actually have anything worth... worth, uh, upgrading to. I never actually managed to get all of the armor for the last town we went through. Welcome. Ah, son of a bitch. They have new armor. And I don't have the money for it. <laughs> Alright, let's just buy what we can. What is that? 30,000? Oh, I only have 37,000. 21k for the flower suit. That's less. But it only works on girl. Anything else? Come again. Well, at least with this situation I have here, I can upgrade boy. With um, his latest piece of armor, which is actually a pretty big up in terms of defense, then I can give Sprite his leftovers, which at the very least he'll have a magic uh, magical armor, and I can sell his tiger suit off. Welcome. Anything else? That's nah, not enough Anything for anything. Else? Maybe, uh, maybe that or something. Anything else? Come again. Since I'm not being overly reliant on magic or anything like that, I can really just give the priorities of armor and all that kind of shit to boy instead of going and trying to upgrade everybody. Although it does help to have everybody's leveled up and all that. It's locked, huh? Alright, so I gotta go in there somehow. This is the abode of King Mammon, the ruler of this island. The first floor of the hotel. Why is the king staying in a hotel? And why does your emperor allow a king on this island? One night is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dripping from your nose. <laughs> it's funnier now than at the time. If only we'd had an ice shaver. We could have made enough shaved ice to last a year. My specialty is the rainbow mix of all flavors in one. Who would want to eat shaved ice in that weather? Uh-oh. I haven't thought of that. But now that you mention it, my whole mouth felt numb after just a few bites. So you did eat the snow. Shaved ice is better in hot climates. Oh! Well, then I'll just bring the snow down to somewhere warmer. Uh, 
Alright, that volume is not quite high enough. Come on. Load. Load. Rest. Whatever. Hurry the hell up. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I want a gold necklace, a gold ring. We came to see a king mammon. It's gold everywhere. Isn't this whole city made out of gold? This island is the gold. Gold. And it's all mine. Mine, I tell ya. All right, you crazy fuck. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for not kicking me out for barging into your home. Gold. And it's all mine. <laughs> Why do we have a king here again? A king that lives in a one-room hotel room. <laughs> oh, whatever. No, oh, the first time I'm gonna run out of stamina while running. The tower at the edge of town used to be known as the Light Palace. I'm tell King Mammon seal it. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnica, but they caught him before he left South Town. Never did find that key though. I wonder what they keep in that tower. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay. There. You know, if how did he not make it out of Southtown? What the hell was he doing in Southtown if this is the place he was trying to break into? Well, whatever. The Empire's troops caught my husband stealing a secret key from Gold Eye. Oh my god, you look like um, a character from Nightmare Before Christmas. Here it is. I've been keeping it safe in this box as a memento. Which I keep under my arms at all times. My husband gave his life for this key. I think he was easy to know it wasn't for nothing. Here, it's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our gold tower key. Here. Yay! Sound effect plays out way too quickly. Uh, where the hell was it? South? <laughs> Don't get lost. Wander around on this damn planet for too long. It's not a big world or anything like that, but it's. There we go. Hey, dropped us right off where we need to be. Ah, shit. I just gotta remember I don't have the proper armor to do this. If this treasure chest contains 60,000 GP, that'll be great. Oh, or a spear orb. Great, because weapon upgrades aren't expensive or anything. Oh, shit, you asshole. <laughs> Alright, we got a spear orb, so head back to town. Well, no one... 
I've been waiting. Oh man, there goes all my money. <laughs> What kind of uh, damage does that do? 81. Fantastic. Much better than the 70 my sword is still doing. I think I might have missed an orb somewhere. Thanks. Remember me? I do more damage now. For some reason, you're not dying easy, though. Although, the spears does seem to knock enemies unconscious, which is nice. I had a casting remedy on him. He's said dead anyway, though. I do like that it's knocking enemies unconscious. That's nice. It's almost like the one, the version a little while ago, that would space the enemies out. I mean, I don't particularly find a lot of use in the spells that do these kinds of things because you got to use MP to get through it and nobody wants to burn through all their MP just knocking standard enemies unconscious or spacing them out or anything like that but having a weapon that'll just go and do it is fantastic that'll just slow you down even more a boss battle already? Hello. You look familiar. I guess when the characters are in the middle of animations, you can't open their menus. That's irritating. Oh, shit. Alright, so we'll do it like this. <laughs> hell of a lot of health. Doesn't give me a weakness. Shouldn't it give me a weakness? Keep moving. What a good my new spear does me now, huh? Get down here and die. What the hell? It's close! <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it is a lot of health, but I can't ever manage to actually hit the fucking thing. was not helpful. Hm. Okay, that didn't help. How about this? Nope, that didn't help. Mm, 
No, do you not have any elemental weakness? I guess not. I have a lot of medical herbs. Oh, and it's dead. Oh, lost its head. Head just disappeared. <laughs> oh, nope, it's not dead. Head's back. As long as it stays on the damn ground, I'll be able to beat it. A little more damage there, but not... Ah. It's a good thing I picked this thing up. <laughs> what about your attack? You were in the middle of an attack animation when Undine's um, magic landed. Alright, so what haven't I tried yet? Tried everything. Nothing, nothing worked. Except for, of course, um... Acid Storm, but that's only because it's not really direct damage focused. Now get down here and die. And there we go. It's dead for real this time. Hello. Be another orb, aren't you? Ah, damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> dead now, right? Of course, he's, uh, boss in the beginning kind of throws you off and the thinking, like, usually once the boss in the be once the boss is done, all the enemies in a temple disappear. But no, that's not how it works. Hey, you multiplied. As you were dying, that's amazing. Alright, yeah, here we go. And we got another one of these bastards to take out. And this one I think is a little more straightforward because it's it'll get the big horns out, but it doesn't. It's not the pain in the ass kind of thing that goes and disappears into the air and then knocks you down. Although that charge will fuck you up. All right, let's get this thing. Everybody corner, jeez. Leave him alone. <laughs> Telegraph that one, didn't you? Man, he's got Wolverine claws. Alright, time to...
Uh, petrified. Finally taking damage again, huh? Alright. Another cure cycle. I know there's a, like a hotkey method that you can access these things in this version of the game, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to learn anything new for this playthrough. It's weird that it's got them pinned in like that, I don't... You can actually cast that spell? <laughs> oh, down goes Prim. Finally got them out of that damn corner. Alright. See if we can get this going for real this time. Man, Sprite doesn't have any health. Oh, it's dead anyway. Jeez. Sprite's HP is at zero. Look at that. He's, but it's not unconscious. No matter now. Beating a boss means you get all your health back. And another orb. I'm Luna, the light elemental. King Mammon was robbing me of my power. He forced me to use mana for his own benefit and create gold for his treasure hoard. The gold he's created will turn to stone one day. I hope that everyone's greed will disappear along with it. Please take my powers before the world falls to the evil of the Mana Fortress. Synchronize! It's one little thing that they acknowledged with this that I think was something that Oh, we seemed a little strange with the original game. And perhaps it was just a translation issue and they weren't able to get the story point across. But Lumina mentioned that the gold that Mammon had created using Lumina's power would eventually turn to stone. I don't know how long that's going to take or whether it's a sudden transformation or just slowly happens or whatever. But it always seems strange to me that in the original game, it wasn't mentioned. So I always got the impression that this king, who did this horrible thing out of greed and all this and that and the other thing, and basically got away with it. Like, had an entire city made out of gold. And like, that's more gold than you could ever need or want or anything like that. And basically got away with it. Because here we are, after the fact, and... You got to keep everything. But uh, here we are. <laughs> it's eventually going to turn to stone and he'll be left with nothing. Still doesn't acknowledge that the loss of the power, but I guess after he had created his gold, he didn't need any more. So he didn't bother creating any more and didn't. Couldn't get into the castle anyway. One the night. palace. Let's see what they had to say. Probably something to do with something that happened a long time ago. Ugh, desert. Remind me never to visit the desert again. All the moisture in my hair and skin is gone. That's what you're worried about? Skin care aside, it's impossible to sleep with so much riding on our shoulders. We were snoring last night. What was that? N nothing. All this desert talk just makes me throat bone dry. Ugh, I hate the gritty feeling of sand in my mouth. Why are you putting sand in your mouth? What? I need water. What do you need of me? I'm thirsty. 
You're using magic for that? Understood. Here you are. I guess Undine's okay with it. Oh, that's weird. First time you've seen another character in any form uh, appearing in these little conversations. Alright. 